you struggle with lifting the ball and hitting it for long distances well i'm going to show you how to do it with ease let's go all right first things first is there's some common misconceptions that i have to go over really put some power in it that's wrong really all that matters is your technique another thing is that people worry way too much on the angles that they approach the ball in really doesn't matter all that matters is that you're striking in the right area which is the center part of your foot and you want to be lifting it instead of just cutting through it you want to make sure that your leg is nice and fluid when you're striking through the ball as it's going to make it way easier to actually put lift on it and the backspin that you'll create is going to be way higher all right for your third step you want to make sure that you're planting your foot nice and firm as that's where most of your power is going to be generated from it's from your hips down to your planted foot if you have a bad base you're definitely not going to have a good pass and for the most important part you want to make sure that you're slicing the ball down here if you hit it higher up it's not going to get lifted i'm going to show you some examples of proper ping but a really good thing that you want to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that you lean back as much as you can before you strike the ball as it's going to make your center of gravity towards the back it's going to lift the ball more if you do follow through with the ball you want to make sure that your follow through is straight so it doesn't curve a lot well always guys remember training is just training it's not an actual game you have to try to use the skills that you build in training in your actual game so you can get better at doing them but doing it with pressure on you in game that's a completely different story Another thing that really helped me improve my pings was looking underneath the ball right before I make the pass as it lines up your foot automatically with the ball. Guys, once you really get good at doing the pings, you want to start to try them while the ball is rolling. As in game, you're not really going to have the time or the freedom to just have the ball sit. Now that I've shown you how to ping, I'm going to be showing you some of the benefits to actually training your pings. One of the benefits that I found is that I don't have to trim my shot power anymore as my pings basically help my shot power as much as they can. So yeah guys, the final takeaways for this video is to focus more on how your leg is swinging and focus on where you're hitting the ball. And the utmost important tip for today is that you don't want to overcomplicate it. Overcomplicating things makes it almost impossible for you to actually be able to do that. So make sure you're just doing it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.